Hi and welcome to this markup RXP video uh, in which we'll be giving an overview of the new version 0.5. Uh, in this video we'll be covering um, some of the main features that were requested on our Trello board uh, and we can look at some new features in additional videos that I'll, I'll get to do at a later point. So let's jump over to um, markup RXP. So some of the main points um, that have changed from the previous version. The first thing is you'll notice that we have a title bar and one of the requests was to show uh, how many stitches are on the page and how many are remaining. So now if we go to markup you can see that we can click these buttons and we have a countdown uh, of, the, of that number, one or three stitches remaining on a page with 106 stitches on. We also show the colour so this is from our uh, basic range. If we just show the colors here, this is our basic range, uh, which is the, the first one. Obviously, we've got DMC, Anke, and Madeira. And number two is the red color. So that's just saying that these cells are getting marked up in that particular color, which is fine. And it, that gives you all the information to let you know where you currently are um, with your colors and how many stitches are left remaining. So let's just undo that so we we can clear them off. So how do we actually select symbols and how do we assign colors to symbols in Markup RXP? Well, what we have is our symbol search button. And if you click the symbol search button, this is now where we clear symbols or where we start a new search. If you want to search for a new symbol, you click the symbol search button. It's as simple as that. So let's say that we would like to mark up our uh, chevrons here, the stigma of the flower. You can now see that there, that particular symbol has three uh, symbols on this page and there's three remaining, but we haven't assigned a color to it yet. So let's just click on this little button there and we can go ahead and assign a color. I'm just gonna keep it simple for now. So we'll choose basic number four, which is yellow. And what that does is that assigns the yellow color to that particular symbol and puts us in markup mode, ready to mark up that symbol. So that's how we do it. So if we wanted to select another symbol, again, we just click on the symbol button. It says here we don't have a symbol selected, so select a symbol. So let's um, choose the petals. And in the petals, we could either choose to kind of go in here again and maybe we want a red color so let's click on red so now the petals the 64 of them are assigned the red color and again if we wanted to do our final symbol because we're searching for a new symbol we click the symbol search button that clears the current selection and we come down and we select our symbol and we can just hit on that color and we can hit a different color let's say we go for green this time and there's 39 uh, stems or the W symbol here and they in here we're using basic number nine so what we've done there is we've assigned uh, three different colors to our three different symbols and if we wanted to select a different symbol so now if we clear the symbol by selecting the symbol search because we're looking for a new symbol if we select the stigma he's assigned yellow let's clear the symbol search again and say we want to select the petals so we click on the petals they go red and if we want to clear that down by pressing the symbol button and press on the stem they go green so now what we have done is we have linked uh, colors to our particular symbols okay but what happens if you want to see on a current page what symbols you've linked to what colors well if you click on the actual title bar what that brings up is a symbol list. So here, this is telling us as our list of symbols for page number three. And we can see the symbols that we've added here and we've numbered them one, two, and three. And the default order that they get added is the default order in which they were created. You can see how many symbols are left uh, to do for each particular symbol and how many you've currently done. And we give some totals at the bottom as well. And that is how we get to see all of the symbols that you've created on a page. And I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail in further videos on that, but I'm just gonna keep that really simple and close that down for now. And I just wanna show you this other last feature in this video, just to keep it short. We have selected um, the stem, which is the W symbol. So now if we bring in our config, 
here, you can see now we have the stitch counts. So we haven't marked any cells, we haven't parked any cells, but on this current page, there's 106 of these uh, symbols and we've duplicated that twice more. So there's three of these pages. So overall, there are 318 stitches to do in this project. But the bit I would like to show you if is if we scroll down to the bottom, we now have the option uh, to mark up all selected symbol cells. So we've got the W's selected and we would like to mark them all up. So if we just click on that button, you'll get asked, are you sure you want to mark up the selected symbol on this page? If you click yes, you can see now that those symbols all get marked up. They're obviously still all highlighted. So if you wanted to clear the symbol selection, just press the symbol button and you can see that those cells are now all marked up in the color that you have selected. Uh, so this kind of concludes part one of the new release. I'll be creating some more videos uh, detailing some of the these extra features so you can get a good understanding, but this should give you a good grounding in the new way to deal with symbols in Markup RXP. Thanks very much for watching.